Hello, it's me, Sweetie, and thank you for being here for another video. So as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I have a large pile of packages here in front of me that I'm going to open with you guys today. They are full with a bunch of new Lolita goodies that I got from Lace Market. If you're unfamiliar, Lace Market is basically a resale site for Lolita. If you have never been and you're looking for some great deals or just some new items, definitely check it out. And my makeup is a little bit intense today. I just got done filming a Cinema Roll Sanrio Lolita look. If you'd like to check it out, I will link it up above. I think it turned out super cute. I will also have pictures of that look on my Instagram, which is also listed below. Well, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Let's open these packages and see if all the money I spent from my stimulus check was truly worth it. And if you do like this video while you're watching, feel free to give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button down below. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with this little one here, something nice and easy. Oh, it's got a pull tab on that, so I don't have to look dumb trying to cut it open with a knife. Now, I've ordered most of these within the last month or so, so I think I remember all the items I purchased, but we'll find out. Ooh, so I am so excited about this one. If you've been in Lolita for a while, you will know that this headpiece from Antique Beast is like super coveted, hard to get your hands on. And when I saw it pop up on Lace Market, it was like the first listing on the page and I hit buy immediately. So if you haven't seen it before, it's basically like a little headdress like this. It kind of looks like little horns or like little bat ears or something. Uh, my best friend Mayfield has this headpiece that she let me borrow uh, to do my Karomi Lolita cord, which I will also link above. I did a video on that. And it's actually a goal of mine to twin with her wearing Holy Lantern. And since she usually pairs this super cute headdress with her cord, I wanted one too. Okay, so usually I avoid smelling items that I buy secondhand, but it smells like perfume and it smells really good. Better than expected. Let's go ahead with a box here. I'm gonna have to use the knife this time. Wish me luck. You didn't wish me enough luck. Ooh, a note. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. Yay, I got some new shoes. So these would have actually gone perfectly with the cinema roll look that I just got done filming. Maybe I should have done this first. Anyway, I got some Saks Blue Colored Tea Parties from Angelic Pretty. I have had my eye on a pair of shoes like these for a while now, but these are really hard to find. I don't know if you have ever tried finding any like sacks or light blue colored shoes, but it's been a trial for me. Yay, here they are together. They are in really good condition. There's like a tiny bit of wear on them, which is fine. I think these are size M. I usually prefer a size L so that my uh, Dr. Scholl's little foot cushions can fit in there really well, but I can wear M as well. So I pre-ordered a dress from Angelic Pretty a couple months ago. If you know, you know. It's very rare, very clout worthy. It's coming out in October and uh, the colorway I ordered will go perfectly with these shoes. All right, let's do this one right here. This is very big, very colorful. I think I remember what this is. I believe this is a dress. I was right, it's a dress. So I ordered this internationally from Lace Market. If you've never shopped there before, you can buy from pretty much anywhere in the world. I know it can be a little scary to order internationally, but I've never had a problem. So if you've been afraid to do it, do it. Buy the stuff. Okay, so this is um, a Taobao brand dress, I believe, but it is called Antique Clock, and it has this pretty like purple gray argyle and these clocks down here with some Roman numerals. Now, if you know anything about, oh, and it's got little like neckties too, awesome. So if you know anything about my usual style, this is not normally something that I would wear. However, it is for a special Lolita cord look I have planned in the future. 
Oh, and it has a little bow too that fell off. It probably goes right here. Maybe I can put it on my head. Who knows? So as a hint, this is for a character Lolita look I will be doing. It is an anime character from the anime, my favorite anime, Madoka Magica. If you have a guess you would like to make, let me know down below in the comments. I really love that this is like full sharing all the way around. This is gonna be really comfortable. And the little sleeves are almost like, it's not a cap sleeve obviously, but I think it's very interesting. Definitely different from what I'm used to wearing, but I'm excited to have it nonetheless. Oh, and I just realized I could wear this with my little antique beast headband. Look at that, I already have a cord planned. Okay, up next I have a box that says Sperry on it. These are not boat shoes, I promise you. But let us see what is in here. If I'm remembering correctly, there are a couple of items in here, I think, but I can only show you one of them because the other is a gift. Dude, I almost just like sliced my leg open in a place where I already cut my leg the other day, cutting down cardboard. Can you imagine? Okay, let's just be smarter than the box here, sweetie. Yay, okay, really quick, let me take out the item from here that is a present for somebody else. Ooh, look at how cute. These are a pair of Usakumia slippers. These are like the cutest ever. I'm gonna have to wear socks with these because they are like full, like fluffy fur. These are gonna make me feel so bougie and fancy walking around the house. I think it'll be super nice to have something that's like Lolita from Baby the Star Shine Bright to wear, even when I'm not fully dressed up, just to like keep the Lolita flair, even when I'm scooting around the house drinking coffee or something. Oh, and they've got the little like bumpies on the bottom so that I'll have some traction when I'm scooting around the house. Oh, there's a price tag on it. Let's just hide that. You don't need to know my shame. Okay, last box. And I'm glad it's the last one because it is very hot in here. Of course, right before the crazy Texas summer, the air conditioning for my upstairs decided to go out, so it is hot. Last one, let's go. I've got a big box here, and y'all, it's one of my dream dresses. Now, I did do a video on my dream dress list. This was not on it at the time, but I will go ahead and link that video up above for you guys. Check it out. If you'd like to take a guess below on what print it is, it is from Angelic Pretty. It is an older print and it is very hard to find. Let me know what you think it is down below in the comments. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of her. Oh, I honestly almost can't believe it. Wow. So this was like once in a lifetime find. If you have also been looking for this print in any capacity for any amount of time, you will know how hard it is to find it in any kind of decent condition for less than like $400. However, I got it for like the steal of the century. And the dress that I'm talking about is Jewelry Jelly from Angelic Pretty in the pink colorway. Ah, I'm so excited! Okay, so not only did this come with the JSK, it also came with the headpiece and the socks. And for me, maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place, but that is like unheard of. And I don't know why, but it's like most people that have this dress put it through like a lawnmower or something. I don't know what's up with that. So here are the waist ties. It has these cute little bows on it. And these are like really not even wrinkled. So far, so good. Up next, we have the head bow. Now, the seller did say that the head bow was probably in like the worst condition of anything from this set. And I'm like, what damage? Like, this looks fine to me. It has cute little like dangly star here. There are like some little uh, strings coming off of the lace and it's maybe like a tiny bit faded. But like, I, this is fine for me. And the socks, I actually don't think I have ever seen the socks anywhere online with a set or otherwise. Oh, they're so cute. They have little polka dots on them. What the heck? Look at how cute. They look like 
like those little uh, sheets of candy dots that are rainbow. These are adorable. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Okay, so on the inside, look at how cute. It says AP and it's got little jellies on it. Wow, I am like, I'm so happy. All right, and the big piece, the dress. Oh my gosh, she's even more beautiful in person. Only a little bit wrinkly from travel, but she's home. Doesn't smell the best, I will say. Does not smell the best. It's not B.O. I don't know what that is, but I'm not gonna investigate further, okay. I'll probably just let this air out on the balcony or something, let the rest of the neighborhood enjoy seeing her in her full beauty. And yeah, there's still some glitter like down on the bottom. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but maybe the light will pick up on some of it. There's not a lot left, but with dresses that are like this age, I really don't expect there to be much left, so I'm not even upset. Well, you guys, I could not be happier with my little haul that I owned today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you like the pieces that I bought. I like them. I can't wait to do some review videos on some of the items that I bought, cord them for you guys, put some pictures up on Instagram of those cords. Definitely go check those out. But thank you so much for spending some time today with me on my channel. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, again, please consider hitting that subscribe button or the thumbs up below. It helps me out and I appreciate it. Well, I'm going to go hang these up and enjoy staring at them in my closet. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!